Excuse me. Hi, I just saw you and I wanted to... Talking to strangers is one of the most fundamentally important skills we can learn in our life. But the problem is it's difficult. We've got to put our ego away. We've got to embrace the fear of rejection and accept the fact that it's going to happen over and over again. In the past, that social fear, that anxiety, has prevented me from going up to a lot of the girls that I like and saying hello and starting a conversation. Even my YouTube channel, I was afraid to start because I didn't want to get bad feedback from people I don't even know. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go up and talk to strangers. But to start, I'm going to show you how not to do it. What do you oh, listen? Uh, to a podcast right now. Which one? Um, Gimosh to Sack. Gimosh to Sack? Yeah. Gimosh to Sack. Yeah. Perfect. Gimosh to Sack podcast. Uh, we're going to go listen to that now. Thank you very much. Hey, how are you? Hi. You're doing great work. Excuse me. What are all the flags about today? As far as I know, it's uh, the, the Commonwealth countries. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's fucked an, up. It's, it's an fucked. advert, advert for yeah. colonization. It's fucked up. Yeah, I it's, love it's, 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 it. We're from out of town. We're wondering what this is over here. It looks like horses. <laughs> Where's Pfizer from? Oh. Um, That's super cool. From the States. But, oh, really? Yeah. Are you from LA? Uh, no, no, from Philly. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've never been there. It looks really nice. Okay, thank have a great you. day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. I have a quick question. What's the influence for your style? You're, you're the most stylish person we've seen today. Uh, oh, no, no. What's no, your no, influence? No. <laughs> I'm an artist. So oh, nice. Yeah. This guy's hat. This, you got the best hat, bro. I know, right? Where do you find it? What's your, like, inspiration? What's your style? Uh, I might be in films right now. So that's how not to talk to strangers, but now I'm going to show you how you can. <laughs> So the reason why I made this video today is because actually throughout my childhood and throughout school, I had very, very low self-esteem. I had a girlfriend around the age of 18 and 19 and she ended up hooking up with like my best friend. I was at rock bottom. Like I was in that place where you know that there's just no way out. Fully depressed, fully anxious. But what I decided in that moment is that I wouldn't be a slave to destiny. I wouldn't let my life just continue down that route. I wouldn't just be quiet and nervous for the rest of my life. So I decided to make an active change. And what I did was I found people that I could go out with every day and just practice talking to strangers. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. We're, we're from out of town. We're just looking for something cool to do. This is we're in Soho now, aren't we? No. You are so why, why, why don't you say you're <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 you could actually be my son. Wow. How did you manage to convince everyone you're gay in five minutes? <laughs> I, was, I just wanted to ask, um, you do martial arts, right? Yeah. Is it jiu-jitsu? No, no, it's judo. But judo? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because like, I do uh, jiu-jitsu in Canary Wharf. Okay, I don't know what area is that. Uh, I think we have a question for her. Who? <laughs> what, what, what question? What to do in London? We have one question. So, what, a question is two, well, that's actually two. The first one is whether the food's good here, in this place. Yeah, it's really good. It's good. Okay, and the second is what places are, what things you think are good to do in London? Uh, the tape's quite good. Is it open now? It's a bit lame though, no? Is that an ashtray? It's no, it's for the bill. <laughs> um, what, are you drinking with a friend or alone? No, my boyfriend's here. Uh, we can ask him some questions. Yeah, he Unless he's a tough guy, in case we don't want to get beaten up. Why? Are you not from London? Not exactly. No, I'm from Suffolk. Near Ipswich. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Where are you from? Um, like Bristol originally. Bristol? Bristol. Bristol. In Australia? No, no. Bristol. <laughs> I'm joking. Some poor Brez stuck at the bar ordering a drink and watching his girl be filmed. <laughs> Come on, Come on What was that about then, sweetheart? <laughs> What was all that then? What was that, what was that Mexican geezer doing? Oh, did, you, did you like him, did you? Where'd he fucking go? I'll go get him. So when I go up and start a conversation, the easiest way that basically works every time is to just go up and say, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, can I just ask you a quick question? And then after that, that's really the hardest bit, is just getting into the conversation. After that, you basically just be nice, right? If you're already just kind and complimentary, you're already in the top 10% of people. When I used to be uh, in secondary school, on my way home, I used to 
get two packets of cookies instead of one. And give them out. One no, for me, one for is me, it? One for me to eat later. Yeah. <laughs> the other one was to pick up girls with. <laughs> really? Maybe do you want a cookie? <laughs> and now, now I'm here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, boss. Do you sell cookies? What's the best bit of life advice someone's ever given you? Like the bit that stands out the most to you? It's not from me, it's mm -hmm. from an interview, but someone was talking about, it. it's a Taylor Swift interview that she did a few years ago, but she talked. She was talking about um, forgiving and forgetting people, and she was saying that actually you don't have to forgive and you don't have to forget that if, if someone actually really, truly hurt you and damaged your life, that's okay to actually just move on. Yeah. It's not your responsibility to forgive yeah. that which is unforgivable. Exactly. Like Jake Paul says, don't save them. Don't save them. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. Do you want a cookie? We're giving out free cookies. They're really good. Sure. I'll take a cookie. There you are. Thank you. Well, Have a lovely day. Thank, thank you. 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 too. Excuse me. We have one question. What's the best piece of advice that someone has given you? My mind's like I'm completely dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say be kind. Be kind. Be kind and ambitious. Those two are fighting, aren't they? Kindness yeah. and ambition. Our friend from, or your friend from home, loves anime. Like, that's fucking weird. Like, like yeah, like that's an <laughs> it's so weird for that. But, but she's, she's so hot. hot. Well, actually, I think with women's a strange dynamic where, like, oh my god, a man stops and like ties his shoe, egg. But then he's like, oh my god, he's like really mean to me and doesn't give me the time of day or like prioritize my emotions. Like, it's okay. It's like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> in a pub or bar scene, mm -hmm. more social, like the men are more like, so <laughs> We're just gonna start a full-length TV show featuring yeah. you guys. We got like is this our, like yeah, no, we got like seven episodes. <laughs> um, how would you define love? In the simplest way, whatever comes to mind. Putting someone else's needs before yours. Oh, I like it. Thank you. So one of the reasons why it's so hard to go out and talk to strangers is because we have this fear of conflict that's really deeply ingrained into us where we just don't want to be in a position of discomfort, of awkwardness, of conflict. So one really interesting way to get over this is to go to restaurants and cafes and ask for free things. So in this video, I'm just going to show you us going into a cafe and asking for some free stuff so that you can see how putting yourself in these positions of conflict actually gives you the confidence to overcome it and helps you to deal with the rejection. Can I get a free banana as well? Free banana? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, you have to talk to me. Hello, can I get a free banana, please? Free banana? Yeah, they're really green. I'll give you a biscuit. Ah. I just love them when they're green, but... Anyway, we thank come, you. We come here all the time. Yeah. Could it be just this time, only this time, an exception? Can we get it for free? Because we would pay for it, but it's just green. And we're very sure it's going to go back. Look at them. I'll give you a cookie. You can pay. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Well, what's the greenest? Look. That's good. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. We just got this for free in Pret a Manger. I don't want it. Do you want a free green banana? It's alright, Have a lovely day. You too, man. Can I ask you what's the best piece of life advice you would give to young fathers? Showing up every day. Showing up every day? <laughs> and the love for the little one, right? Yeah, of course. Do, we're just giving out cookies as well. Do you guys want a cookie? For the little one? And a cookie? You. You're welcome, man. Have a great day. So this video has been pretty silly, but I want to be real for a moment. Talking to strangers has actually changed my life, and it will change your life too. Because of that, I've created a program that will teach you exactly how to do this, how to go up and confidently talk to anyone. I'm opening the program to all of you for just one pound, because I'm so confident that it will change your life. And if at any moment, you feel like it's not or it hasn't, I'll just refund your money. And if you're still unsure, book a call with me at the link below. Completely free of charge, I'll answer any of your questions and we can take it from there.